God. I pray that you will give me the cutest little kitten ever. Still praying for that kitten, God. Amen. I wasn't sure if you heard me before, God. I love kittens. God, pretty please. God, kitten. Amen. Um, God, please. Oh, my me. Just shut up about the damn kitten already. The answer's no. Now go brush your teeth. Your breath smells like the diseased, festering colon of a water buffalo. And I'm omnipresent, so I'm all up in there, breathing that crap in. And go change your hair. You look like the damn Wendy's logo. Jesus Christ! Uh, yeah, Dad, what's up? Uh, besides us. <laughs> Get the hell out of here, it's a figure of speech. Hey, God? Just spit it out, Jeffrey. Uh, spit what out? Don't play dumb. Okay. You're going to complain about something. Well... Or ask some stupid question to goad me into a debate. What? No. Man, you are grouchy today. I, I was actually just going to pay you a compliment, but... Whatever. Compliment? What compliment? I just think it's smart that you didn't grant that little girl's prayer for a kitten. Really? Why? Because of the butterfly effect. You know about that? Of course. Even if you granted a tiny fraction of prayers, the unintended consequences would multiply exponentially, which would force you to constantly intervene, thereby affecting countless people, including their free will. Yeah, that pretty much sums it up. L listen, l l l let's just keep this between us, though, okay? I, I wouldn't want one of those atheist assholes on YouTube to make a video about it, especially not that dark matter what's-his-face douchebag. Why I created that guy with so much charm and intellect and raw animal magnetism is beyond me. Just out of curiosity, if you had granted that little girl's prayer, how would it have affected your plan? Well, let's see... Where is that little girl? Uh, ah, here she is. If I granted her the kitten, then the gradual effect would cascade this way, rather than the way it's supposed to, and most of human civilization would collapse in only about 134 years. Really? How so? Well, if you look here, the cat pukes up a hairball. <laughs> which the mother has to clean up, putting her five minutes behind where she would have been if the cat hadn't been there at all. That doesn't seem like a big deal. Right, but if she had left on time that day, she would have gotten rear-ended while waiting at a red light. Oh, so the cat actually saved her a lot of trouble. For her, yes. But because she's late, she ends up behind the car that would have rear-ended her, who is now unobstructed from going through the red light. So he gets T-boned, thereby killing the driver, who was the CEO of an influential tech company. Oh. The new CEO takes the company in a different direction, which leads to the closing of a factory in China. Had the factory remained open, Two co-workers would have met there, got married, and had children. Now they'll never meet, and none of those children will ever exist, nor will their children's children, among whom would have been a man who was integral to preventing World War III. Ah, I see. And that's how a hairball can doom the world. Right. Why not just stop the hairball? Doesn't matter. Over the cat's lifetime, it would still cause a million other unintended consequences that would ripple across my plan and force me to make changes and changes to changes and then it would conflict with other people's prayers and then i have to change those and then it would be a big mess. It's no wonder you don't do something major, like cure someone's cancer. 
Oh yeah, that would really screw things up. You'd have to account for an entire lifetime of human interactions that weren't supposed to occur, and then those interactions would spiderweb out into everything and completely alter your plan, and then the alterations would require alterations, etc. What would be the point of even having a plan? Don't you worry, little Johnny. We're gonna get us a bunch of prayer warriors together and God's gonna cure your cancer. See, Johnny's life will screw with my plan big time. So they can pray about it all they want, but that little son of a bitch is gonna die anyway. I guess it's a good thing you just let people believe you can actually do something about their prayers. Oh yeah. Best to just get credit for all the good stuff that happens and remain mysterious for all the bad stuff that happens. Right. You gotta admit though, it is pretty damning that statistically, you can get generally the same number of prayers answered by praying to a stuffed animal as you would by praying to God. Eh. Bias will keep people from noticing stuff like that, Jeffrey. I guess. My followers are so devoted that I have them praying to God five times a day. Oh yeah? Well, if my followers believe that their prayer will move a mountain, then it will move a mountain. That's nothing! I can move mountains all day Stop long! Stop being such a one-upper, not Mahan. I am not the one-upper! You are the one-downer! Ugh! You don't even know what one-upping is, do you? Of course I know the one-upping! It's when you get the extra life for the Mario or the Luigi. Idiot! Idiot? Me? But I am the far more smarter than you are, see? That's one up in. So, uh, God, what would happen if someone's prayer actually moved a mountain? Oh, uh, this right here would get all fucked up. Wow. Yep. Well, thanks for the talk, God. It was interesting. You mean that's it? Yeah. You weren't trying to make a point all this time? No. No goading me into a debate? No. You mean we actually agree on this? Yep. Looks like you've got it all figured out, God. Cool. Good talking to you for a change, Jeffrey. I'll catch you later. I mean, it's not like the little girl's mother would buy her a kitten. What do you mean? Well, just because you don't answer a prayer, it doesn't mean that someone else won't. Or that someone won't eventually achieve it on their own. Okay. That means your plan would still require your constant intervention. So either way, you're still perpetually undermining free will. No, Jeffrey. I don't have to constantly interfere with free will. Um, yes, actually. If you have a plan, then you have to. No, I don't. Uh, yes, you do. It's obvious. Okay. Let's say, hypothetically... That I do. What do you think that would mean for this conversation? Oh shit. I sure? You mean we actually agree on this? Yep. Looks like you've got it all figured out, God. Of course I do, Jeffrey. Of course I do. subscribe to Dark Matter, or Mechasaurus Rex will destroy you all! Mechasaurus Rex, whatever you do, don't kill yourself. You have everything to live for. It's Super Reverse Psychology Man! Not so fast, sub whore! They better not subscribe to Dark Matter. They... better not. <laughs>